Between the rubble of this building, Fatima lives with her mother and sisters after they were victims of the most heinous crimes against the humanity. They were forcibly displaced from Aleppo. Living away from her home and her father, who have been passed away three years ago, are not their only pains. She lost her leg one year ago by Assad regime shelling on her district in besieged Aleppo. Fatima, a seven years old, is now deprived of her most basic rights as a child, like playing with her sisters and friends, even going to school to complete her education because of the need for artificial limb to help her walk and adapt to her new life. When we were trapped in Aleppo, an artillery shell landed on our house, causing an injury to my eldest daughter, and my other daughter Fatima lost her leg. We saw blood everywhere. Fatima was sitting in one side of the house, and her leg was on the other side. We rushed them both to the hospital, and they took Fatima to the emergency room to stitch her leg. We went back to our house but it was completely destroyed. The neighbors gave us a house to settle in, and we stayed in Aleppo for a little while. During the time, we were besieged in Aleppo, and the bombardment intensified until we were displaced. Currently, we live in Marit in Oman, in a completely destroyed house, with the exception to this one room that we live in. It's been a year since Fatima lost her leg. She wants to go back to school, but she can't because she gets bullied by some children in school, and they call her the girl with one leg. They would hurt her feelings and she would come home crying every single day. She also gets bullied by children in the neighborhood when she goes out to play with them and would come home crying. I would ask her, why are you crying? And she would tell me that the kids are calling her the girl with one leg and would start crying again. When she sees her sibling in the house playing and walking, and she's just sitting there on the ground unable to walk like them, she gets bothered and would come to me and ask me, why did this happen to me? Why did I lose my leg? Why don't you do something to help me get my leg back? And I would always tell her to be patient. God willing, we will find a solution to help her walk normal again.